Hello and welcome to another train modeling workshop video. And as you can see, I'm on my workbench, uh, which is my living table. And I will begin a, a better workbench one day. But anyways, um, here it is. Here is my Thomas and Friends Gage 1 workman. Now, here's the back of it, anyways. And the feet. There's the hands. There's the face. The hat. Well, anyways, I'll be teaching you the process on how I built this um, workman. Thomas and Friends Gage 1 workman. Now, this is the Gage 1 one. And it's it's not the close-ups of the live action series it's like the distance the far away shots that they had for the figures like they also did close-up figures with the nose but uh, I didn't did that because that's like harder but as you can see I burnt it a little bit by accident I put it baked it a little over like two minutes more but I can see it didn't did no harm and it is very hard I made it out sculpty three clay and I will be doing a feature video on how I paint it with Tamaya paints oh Tamaya acrylic paints I'll be painting with like the standard workman colors and paint their face and everything and let me just go teach you how I made this this Thomas and Friends Gage 1 workman. Now, the first step is to get out your Sculpty Dree clay. And before I show you what else to do, let me just get a zoom of the figure. And there's the figure in zoom. Yeah, real zoom so you can see all the details. It's overall pretty smooth. Now, also, you get out your Sculpty Dree clay. And what I did is, is I made a circle for the head, a tiny circle. A bigger circle for the body. The hands are, are like little strips that I like rolled out and so the legs and I just shaped it to the desired shape and then I smoothed it out with this dowel rod. Now I bought this at Mighty Dollar. You can buy these at Mighty Dollar or any craft store. And then what I did is I used my Swiss Army knife but you can use any knife that you have. And I cut like a little piece of my, one of my dial rods and made a little strip. And then I just took out and peeled a little tinier strip as you can see. And what I did with those pieces is I stuck the head together and sewed the hands and the feet. Now, um, the, the head got one, both arms got one little twig. Well, dowel rod strip, whatever you like to call it. But anyways, um, also the feet got the feet got two each on side to make it more secure, and it actually cannot stand up as you can see. So I'm going to use some sort of glue tacky substance to um, to secure it whenever I make a step for it, but not permanent. I'm making sure that's not permanent. But, anyways, that's pretty much it. But also, you have to sand it down and bake it for 15 minutes. And, thank you for watching this video. Please let us know how you like our videos. Please let me know how you like this figure. And goodbye for now. Hello, and welcome to another train modeling workshop video. And today, we are just doing... I forgot what we were doing.
Destroy the workmen. Yes! Fire! And then all the banners. Huh. All the news. Ah! You kill me! 